Okay, now we'll talk about the next case called chronic esophagitis. Well, here we see a strip of tissue in which even at this power you could tell one end looks a little bit bluish or darker and then we see a bunch of fibrous tissue and then we see the other side of the wall. Well, let's blow it up. And I think even at this power, you could probably recognize the fact that this is a squamous mucosa. It doesn't keratinize. There's no skin follicles. So this is an excellent candidate for an esophagus, mostly because we see a nice smooth muscle wall in here as well. And of course, if it was in the upper part of the esophagus, we might even see nice strips of skeletal muscle as well. Here's the submucosa, which is loaded with these little uh, secondary follicles uh, consisting of uh, germinal centers and peripheral small lymphocytes. Here we see infiltrates of chronic inflammatory cells and some more follicles within the wall. And here we have the outer edge, which we can call the serosa or adventitia. It really doesn't matter. Um, the main thing you can notice from this esophagus is that there is a very heavy infiltrate of chronic inflammatory cells, i.e. chiefly lymphocytes, not only in the uh, lamina propria portion of the mucosa, but also occasionally uh, interspersed here throughout the epithelial layers as well. In addition, the uh, submucosa is loaded with lymphoid cells, both loosely as well as forming nice follicles. You can also see that perhaps some of this inflammatory infiltrate does infiltrate through the smooth muscular layers as well. And quite frankly, I don't think I see any skeletal muscle here, but I don't plan on looking for it for a long time. Here's the rest of the fibrous wall. Here are some blood vessels. Here's some loose connective tissue. And I think you could safely say that the uh, majority of this inflammatory process is limited to the uh, two superficial layers of the classical GI tube, the mucosa and the submucosa. And the muscular wall and connective tissue of the adventitia are relatively spared. This is chronic esophagitis. Thank you very much.